So good morning. So I did like 22 miles yesterday. Uh, made it to Annapolis Rocks. Watched a beautiful sunset. My ankle was really bothering me. Actually, my whole body's been bothering me. Um, my knees have been a little sore. My hips, even my thighs, like, uh, just feel sore, man. Um, I know I took two and a half days off or whatever, but but my ankle, you know, kind of back to the way it was, and um, but I twisted it when I was running down the mountain to, to help thrive, and and I took a couple of days off, and uh, you get right back on trail, and it just really bothered me yesterday, but I pushed through it. I did what I always do. I pushed through it, and. Right now it's like 8.45 and I'm like a mile into my trek today and I wanna, I'm trying to make it to Pennsylvania, uh, to Penmar. Shouldn't be a bad day, it's like 16 and a half miles, but it was cold last night. Um, it's just really weird, but it was chilly and uh, got up this morning and just usually in the mornings my ankle was good and you know, you get a couple miles in and, and that, tendon or ligament gets inflamed, but um, I barely walk on it this morning, so so I probably went and got some water, the long blue blaze, get some water, try to work it out, and I'm about a mile in, and you know, struggling a little bit, so I don't know how far I'm going to make it. Um, usually I have a little bit of a cushion in the morning for couple hours a couple miles at least break it in good morning, good morning. how are you guys I'm well how about you wonderful thank you what y'all doing section hiking no hiking? i'm through trying to through hike north south so i don't know where i left off but the goal is penmar and thrive and caboose are ahead of me and um and i had to stop and rest it already and um you know it's relatively flat terrain it's pretty rocky though and um, yeah, just gonna have to keep pushing through it. Um, I still got some Giardia symptoms too, and it's probably time to see a doctor about that maybe and get some antibiotics, but, um, all in all, a good day. So, um, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Um, I really wanted to push myself yesterday because I had a couple of days with low miles or no miles, and, and, uh, and I didn't even push myself that hard, but I did 22, maybe 22 and a half, uh, somewhere in that name range. I had, to, you know, a couple of little blue blazes too, so, uh, but maybe I pushed too hard. I don't know. Um, well, no more as the day goes on. Pennsylvania, here I come. Ankle breakers I'm dealing with today. Slow moving. So today has been one of the toughest days I've had since I've been out here and I haven't had many tough days and uh, I, you know I, I've been struggling uh, since yesterday really with muscle soreness and fatigue and a um, little headache and my neck is really stiff and even my upper body uh, muscles are sore and and uh, not to be complaining, because I'm not really a complainer. So, you know, I'm already struggling with the ankle and 
all of a sudden my hips are starting to hurt and and you know my quads I think I mentioned in the earlier video and then I got a stiff neck and a headache and and talking to thrive of you know um like man uh, you know a couple days off and I'm really sore and I shouldn't be sore in my upper body and my neck is stiff and and uh she told me those are symptoms of like limes and um So I had to take a couple weeks ago and I don't remember the date, it's in one of the videos and, and you know, I pulled it out. <laughs> and uh, I guess what I'm saying is Thrive has a family member who Lyme's just kind of devastated, you know, consequences of it. And um, maybe she's a little more concerned than I am. Um, you know, I hiked on today and you know, I've been fatigued too. Like I did 22 miles yesterday, but I took a nap in the middle of the day, in the middle of it. And I did that about a week ago too. And that's another symptom. And um, I haven't done that since I've been out here, but I've, I've, you know, and I blamed it on the heat, but yesterday wasn't hot. So uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is uh, she's fairly concerned about it. And, and so I jumped off trail and I'm waiting on an Uber now. and. I'm gonna go get tested and get some doxycycline or whatever, and I'm gonna get my Giardia looked at too because I'm still having issues with that. And, and while I'm there, even though uh, maybe get my ankle looked at, and you know, I, I um, not really concerned about it because I don't know anything about it. So, uh, but I'm gonna get it looked at and get back on trail, and uh, I was gonna. My buddy was gonna come from Baltimore tomorrow night and get me because he's working, he's a fireman. <coughs> and Hydro was offered to come get me later this afternoon and that's who will probably pick me up, the shuttle driver Hydro. He's like the best man. I mean, you know, he really cares about us and uh, shows up when you need him for something, so. He's, uh, he's actually up in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, slack back at some people, but he said he'd be done at three and would would come down here and pretty close to Penmar right now. So he uh, said he would come down here and, and take me where I needed to go, but I'm going to go ahead and ride in and then, because uh, I'm sure it's going to take a little while and and then probably have him pick me up and bring me back to the trail because I'm not getting off trail whether I have limes or not, um, at least at this point. I mean, reserve judgment until uh, after I find out. But um, yeah, just giving you an update, man. Uh, it's good to have people that care about you and, you know, want to see you. Uh, do well and and i am you know still have that i'm pretty aware guy and pretty conscientious guy and there's you know self-reflective and but i'm also a stubborn marine who you know pain doesn't really bother me or discomfort doesn't really bother me and i'll just keep pushing so had it not been for those for thrive and you know my friends out here and uh you know educate me on on uh, the symptoms and thankfully I was kind of whining about them a little bit I mean you know um and I didn't put two and two together I mean because I had no idea so I just figured maybe the heat and muscle cramps because I took muscle soreness because I took a couple days off and maybe my hips were bothering me because my gait has changed on my ankle <laughs> you know I always have an excuse man always so uh but it doesn't hurt for me to take a couple of hours. It's about, I don't know, two o'clock in the afternoon, 2.30. Um, to just make sure I'm all right. Uh, and if, uh, you know, get the antibiotics that I need. And I've been dealing with this Giardia type issue for a little while and, and the ankle forever. Um, I'm sure the ankles just rest. I've re-rolled it, running down the hill, running down the mountain. 
And, uh, but it was doing great for the last hundred or so miles, you know, uh, no pain at all. And, and uh, but the one day I didn't wear my brace, you know, cause I didn't want the brace to be like a Linus blanket, man. You know, I'm like, well, it's not hurting anymore. It must be stronger. And you know, that added support, is, the brace is really just to keep me from re-rolling it. It doesn't help the ankle at all. It just allows time to heal, so. Um, I should have just been wearing it, but I wasn't. So here I am um, going to see the doc. The Marine is going to sick call. Again, second time on trail. Had to go in Franklin when I had bronchitis because uh, I was coughing for like a month. Going to sick call again. Ah. Stay tuned. So I'm at the uh, um, yeah, just gonna get everything looked at, man. Be safe so I can finish this hike, man. Uh, get tested for line the giardia and get my ankle looked at also so um i haven't had that looked at yet and might as well why i'm here so uh, just gonna run the gamut because i want to be back on trail man i don't want to not have to get off to take care of this stuff so Really kind of, they're really nice people. Uh, Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. So uh, I'm outside CVS in uh, Waynesboro, Pennsylvania, and uh, I am just so humbled, man. I mean, I just left the hospital, the ER, and. Um, where they tested me for limes and they sent me over to CBS to uh, to get a prescription of doxycycline and um, antibiotics <laughs> and I came in here like looking like this you know and uh, and I asked for my prescription and they said it would be a few minutes and and I just asked them how much it was, and they said like $75, unless you have insurance. And I said, well, I'm a veteran. Like, I said, I have, I'm just covered by the VA and um, on disability from the VA. And, and this girl from behind the counter comes up, and I said, I'm hiking the trail, you know. And this girl from the counter comes up, and behind the counter she says she has like a discount card she can use and I said thank you and I needed to wait a little bit for it to be ready and I sat down and, and then uh, Lexi brought me up my script and a and, uh, young pregnant female and she said her husband's a marine and her you know um, a former active duty marine and she paid for my script man and uh wish me well and said her husband's trying to get disability and they're fighting and uh, they're fighting for it and uh, yeah I'm just blown away man I'm blown away by the magic of the people and uh, the kindness of people man and so her name's Lexi and her husband's name's Trenton so you know, prayers to, many thanks to Lexi and Trenton for the, for the gift and uh, of kindness. And, and I didn't, you know, I, I can't even believe it came out of nowhere. And uh, I'm 100% like convinced that people are good, man. That people are good. All right. I'm going to find my way back to the trail.
Strongman in Waynesburg, Pennsylvania at Rocky's uh, New York style pizza. Gonna meet my friends here in a few minutes after the ER and the CBS and all the other fiasco with my prescription. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Yeah. Good kitty. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Yeah. It's a good kitty. Where you going? Where you going? There you go. All right, I'm back on trail. I am trying to get up to Raven Rock Shelter. Which is a climb. Uh, who would have thought? Everybody says Maryland's so easy. Bad boy straight up. Going up into Raven Rock Shelter and then High Rock. So, um, I got about, I don't know, six or seven tents, eight tents up. I think it's like eight tents and like 800 feet. So, 100 foot of tent. And I just had a big old sausage parmesan sub and some pop. Holy moly. And it's getting dark. Gotta bang this out. Whew. That was almost a doozy. This is a trail. Yep, I see that. 